Hi guys, so in this lecture what we are going to see is the difference between JSON and XML. Now the traditional web applications or you know the APIs the way they were designed was everything was pretty much in XML. Now how does JSON comes into picture and probably how does it fare against the XML. So let's see all of that. And of course both JSON and XML can be used to receive data and that's the whole purpose because you want to display your data onto the you know web application or uh, some API that you want to have an output to. Now both JSON and XML are self describing which is human readable. So if you have a JSON object you can read the values as well as the key value pair. Similarly for XML you have tags and you can easily read them. Both JSON and XML are hierarchically values within values. So the way we have XML is you have a child component uh, you, or a child tag, let's say employee and then it will have the name, it will have uh, probably the salary, of course it can have department as a child component and departments can be multiple. So again similarly uh, you can have a JSON object that has like multiple levels of uh, you know object values. Both JSON and XML can be passed and used by lots of programming languages and that's what we started our discussion with that JSON and XML both can be used for a lot of programming languages and therefore the ease of use is what people like in both of these languages. Both JSON and XML can be fetched with an XML HTTP request. Just a small HTTP request will fetch you JSON as well as XML. We will see that in an example shortly. Now JSON is unlike XML because so these are the differences that we're going to see between JSON and XML. JSON doesn't use end tags so just the way we have XML tags we do not have tags in JSON so that's the biggest difference. JSON is shorter because you don't have to you know have starting and ending tags all you need to put it in a curly braces so therefore JSON is definitely shorter so less data gets transferred. JSON is also quicker to read and write. Of course, there are many JS lint kind of applications. You can just find online, paste your JSON, they'll purify it. They'll actually give you the right inheritance or you know the right tree of your JSON as well. And that's what I use for most of my applications. Now, JSON can also use arrays, and that's very interesting because just like uh, you know, you have arrays in your JavaScript, you can have arrays in JSON, and that's what we've been discussing too. So JSON can definitely do that. Now XML has to be parsed with an XML parser. JSON can be parsed by a standard JavaScript function and that's the beauty about it. So all you need is just a web application where you can uh, actually use JavaScript into your application just like your uh, you know HTML and JavaScript you don't even need a server for that matter and uh, you can just make a call to your uh, HTTP request and you can get the data from any API that you want to. In fact you will see that in one of the applications that we will develop in our Redux course where we actually hit the third party APIs and the result is nothing but a JSON object. Now why JSON is better than XML? Again these are perspectives that has come out, out from the industry. So let's see those differences and why it is better. First is XML is much more difficult to parse than JSON. Yes, that's what we said because you have start tag, end tag and of course to have an array you might have to you know duplicate a lot of things but in JSON it gets easier. JSON is also passed into a ready to use JavaScript object. So all you need to do is just have a JavaScript object this, you know allocated and you can start using or iterating over the object that you have. So it's very easy to use. For Ajax applications JSON is faster and easier than XML. Yes, that's the beauty. It is faster because it's of course smaller and of course it's easier to read. So even your application can read it faster. So JSON is faster and it is very easy to read even for your Ajax application. Of course, now when you're using an XML there are certain things that you'll have to do all the time. One is of course you fetch the XML document from the API that you want to you know document or download something. Similarly, once you fetch that XML document you need to make sure that you use the XML DOM to loop through the document and that's where you uh, say XML parsing comes into picture. Then once you're done with that you extract the values and store them in variables. However, when it comes to JSON the steps get reduced. So you fetch a JSON string because it's a text so you fetch the JSON string and JSON.parse the JSON string. That's all you need to do and you will have your JavaScript object and again it is very easy to use JSON and that's why the entire industry is pretty much moving towards the trend of getting JSON. However, older systems do support XML, RSS, Atom and things like that. So that was all about the differences, the similarities and which one's better and which one to use. So my personal preference is JSON. 
But again, if you have your own options or choices, let me know in the Q&A section and probably we can discuss on them further. So that was it from this lecture. If you have any questions around this, let me know in the Q&A section or probably comments below and I will see you in the next class.